Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to today's video on In The Stars. So today's video is going to be about Pisces. So first and foremost, happy birthday to all the Pisces out there. If you're watching this video on Pisces season, you know, so happy birthday if your birthday is past, if it's today, or if it's coming up. Happy birthday from me to you. All right? So now let's get into the video. So Pisces, Pisces sun sign or Pisces star sign, which means that the sun has officially transitioned out of the Aquarius zodiac sign or the Aquarius constellation into the Pisces constellation, right? So Pisces, we're at the end of the astrological chart. Pisces is the 12th zodiac sign. So, and, and if you know, there's 12 zodiac signs. So, yeah, Pisces is the final zodiac sign, right? So, with the Pisces being the 12 zodiac sign, that means they're also associated with uh, the 12th house. Pisces is also known to be a water and a water element. Pisces quadruplicity, quadruplicity and a slash modality is, all, is known to be mutable because they come at the end of winter you see and remember mutable is always at the end of a season pisces comes at the end of the winter season right and pisces ruling planet is neptune so now when you combine all of these things you you know it's you creating a bowl a salad bowl you combine all of these things and you get your salad or in this case you get your Pisces right so now first and foremost as Pisces is a water sign this means that they're going to be intuitive this means that they're going to be emotional this means that they're going to be sentimental this means that they're going to be uh, you know, yeah, as I said, just in tune, in tune with their emotions, in tune, you know, and everything that comes with that. When you're in tune with your emotions, uh, the flip side to that is you can show signs of insecurities. You can show signs of being overly emotional, which is kind of the same thing as being insecure in some sort of way. It's signs of sensitivity. You see what I'm saying? Also more also these are signs of uh being um of more sensual, like more um heartwarming, like more um as I said more intu more intuitive means also like you know more wanting to or more having feelings of other people's issues or more being more in tune with their feelings that's what intuition brings that's what intuition means so so it is not necessarily that they will be insecure or or um, over emotional or or anything like that but on the flip side to that they can be when they're in their lowest places they can be that when they're not balanced properly they can be that you get what I mean so that's just one thing that's just looking at a water sign you know so but this plays a part in Pisces Pisces is known to be Pisces is known to be one of the most if not the most emotional sign out the zodiac most sentimental sign out the zodiac all right, and this is also bringing because Pisces, Pisces, uh, Pisces modality or quadruplicity is is mutable. Sorry, because they're coming at the end of the season. So, what does mutable bring? Mutable brings um, mutable brings adaptive behavior, changeability. You know, these are all of the things that mutable energy brings, changing, like, you know, adapting, adapting to all things. As I always say, there's goods and bad sides to that. That means they can easily adapt to situations. That means they can, um, you know, that means they can, they can change things for the better. But this means they can also change things for the worse. This means that they can also be uh, fickle or... Uh, 
some people call use the term wishy-washy maybe because because they're changing they're constantly changing this means that they cannot be as stable because of that change so when you when you mix when you mix mutable or changing with uh yeah mutable energy with water you have um you have moving water a constant flow of water so you can so this is like water that can be at one point it can be a smooth river or a smooth stream of flow and then at the next minute it, what it could be a, a tidal wave it can be a big wave it could be a small wave you know what i'm saying it could be a whirlwind way you know a whirlwind in, in the water it just all depends and this is all I, i'm using those analogies to get through to to people who to, to you guys i'm sorry that this is this plays a part on their personality because see this also this leads to um, Pisces or Pisceans this shows the overview of what their emotions can be like you know they can they can jump from they can have highs and lows with their emotions and this is why they say they, they are one of the most emotional signs out the zodiac because their emotions can be all over the place because of that water mixed with that mutable energy, you know. So, so they can, as I said, they can be a, a, a smooth flow of, of water or a smooth flow of energy, if you will, and at one point or at you know one part and then the next time you see them or maybe even that same day or even within the same conversation those energies can change to a whole to a whole tidal wave on you <laughs> you know so that's the energy of of uh, uh, of water combined with their mutable energy but on the plus side of that as I, but on the plus side of that, also with them being a water sign, which as I said, that also means you're just more in tune with your emotions as well. Like you're more aware of those emotions. You're more aware of, of pe other people's emotions as well. So with that comes into play also mixed with that mutable energy, which is changeability, adaptability is that they can adapt their emotions to uh, other people's emotions. Like they can, for instance, for example, they can be in a room filled with people where, where you know, where conversations are taking place or, or what have you. And um, they can adapt that energy to that emotional energy to the room. You get what I'm saying to what other people are feeling, how other people are feeling. They can, which means they can able to, able to put themselves on other people's levels, if you will, on any on an emotional state because they're in tune with those emotions. Now, what Neptune brings, which is their ruling planet, is old energy. Neptune brings psychic phenomena, psychic energy. Uh, Neptune brings spirituality. Neptune brings mysticism, mystery, the unexplained. So these are the different energies that Neptune brings to uh, to, to to the Pisces to, to Pisces in itself. This is the energy, the influence that that uh, that it gives off to Pisces, right? So now. When you combine that, you throw that in a salad, like I said, with with their water, with their uh, with their water sign, with their mutable energy. So you can you combine that with that. That this tells you that this is no reason why Pisces are known to be some of probably the best psychics or the best at occultic practices because they're in, because they're they're pretty much almost darn darn near born for it you know because they have that energy they have they already have um those building blocks at hand so this leads to them 
being natural at it as I said if they if they choose to take that route like they might of course they might not all be into occult practices but the ones who do would be very great at it because they're like I said they're pretty much already have those building blocks set up for it it was almost predestined for them to be that because of, they have that strong psychic energy within them so they're being more in tune with as I said before more in tune with other people's emotions more in tune with with spirituality like they they'll be more spiritual people most Pisces not necessarily to say um an organized type of religion but um just any spiritual sense because you know organized religion is not the only form of spirituality and spirituality you know which is a which is like occult stuff is not just just that it's also organized religion so anyway but yeah so they can they can be more they can be more gravitate more towards that that's what i'm trying to say um anything mystic or, or mysterious like they they can be they'll be more mysterious type of people because in a way they're trying to hide those emotions you see and that ruling planet that ruling planet is, is what letting them trying to hide those emotions with like trying let them try to bottle it in so they're they're more prone to bottling in their emotions more to keep it more to keep it enclosed with inside and this is another indication of why they can be the most emotional sign out the zodiac because what happens when you keep your emotions bottled in right eventually eventually like it's going to blow eventually it's going to erupt like a volcano you see it flow of of liquid or water <laughs> you know lava how they can be you know stable at one minute and then next minute it could blow up on you if you will because they keep those emotions bottled they they try to hide them they try to mask them because as i said that ruling planet of neptune is is bringing that mysterious nature inside to them so it's going to allow them to try to hold those emotions inside as much as they can until they can't anymore and like i said this is why this is another indication of why they're one of the most uh, emotional signs at the Zodiac. Um, also, with Neptune, as I said, it brings, um, I, I mentioned psychic phenomena, more intuition, all of that. So, also, oh yeah, also the unexplained. Um, sorry, with Neptune being their ruling planet, Pisceans often are said to have events take place in their life which they can't explain like um, maybe even maybe paranormal supernatural events that nobody else can explain but it happened to them or just um, events in general when it comes to occultism and when it comes to a mystery you see mystery you know what I mean? So, so this is uh, this is another trait of Pisces when you combine the Neptune with their water and their uh, mutable energy. What next goes into the salad bowl to create the Pisces is the twelfth house, because Pisces is associated with the twelfth house. Because, excuse me, because. Um, Pisces is the 12th zodiac sign on the astrological wheel, if you will. So, um, what the 12th house is associated with is associated with similar things. It's associated with um, the unseen, it's associated with endings and beginnings, it's associated with self destruction, sorrows, uh, it's associated with. It's associated with self-doubt, disappointments. Uh, it's associated with uh, hospitals, asylums, prisons. It's associated with secret enemies, karma, 
uh, I said unforeseen, unseen forces and, and trouble just overall. So many people believe that this house is a bad house. And I will get more into that, I guess, when I make my video on 12th house. So I get it. I give you a more in-depth look of the 12th house when I start making videos on houses. So, but anyway, when you combine this with the Piscean energy, you see Pisceans can be prone to they can be prone to having placing their emotions in those directions if that makes sense so for instance a pi you might know a piscean to work in healthcare because a piscean is not, it said you know a piscean is it will be emotional about hospitals or can be a prison guard or working a pr or working a prison in general or um or working in an asylum. You get what I mean? So so that's where the emotions will be tied to. So that's why I say it's not necessarily a bad thing. Their their emotions might be tied to to the unseen forces. You get what I'm saying? Might be tied to mystery because the unseen also represents mystery. Neptune is associated with mystery. So their their mind can go in that way. Their emotions, their intuition might be tied to that. You get what I mean? They might feel sympathetic, sen sentimental about those things, you know. They can and they will be and they can adapt to those things because of that mutable energy. You get what I'm saying? And um so also also I said um self like self destruction like like you know any everybody should know what self destruction is but um so so their energy can be tied to that as well can be tied to in a sense of trying not to do that to themselves or trying or trying to figure out a way where they won't let that ha happen to themselves or trying to be emotionally tied to it in a way where they want to help others. You get what I'm saying? Sentimental. You see what I'm saying? People who have people who have disappointments, people who have trouble, people who have accidents. You see, this is why they also can be said to be one of the most sentimental. And sometimes some people consider them to be one of the most caring signs at the zodiac because of all of this mixed up or because that's mashed in with that but if but as i said there's always negative to those sides this can allow them to be um this can allow them to be used in a way because they want to just naturally help in those types of things or this can put them in bad situations because they just want to help you know, they almost like want to help the wounded dog type of thing. You know, they want to save. They want to be those like humanitarians in a way. You know, help helping that emotional feel. But this, but also another negative out outlook on it. And this is, as I always say, this is just depend on how your chart is placed, how your chart is set up. This can also be an indication of, or, or this can also have the influence of of the person, where that whichever Pisces or Piscean, this can have an indication of them being prone to to uh, having these things happen to them, karma. Uh, unseen forces hidden enemies you know because it's also representing hidden enemies so they can be prone to hidden enemies they can be prone to unseen forces and they and keep in mind they can be prone to hidden enemies this is also tied in because they have that big they have that natural big heart because they're emotional you know because um somebody for instance for example somebody might joke with them in a way or or might 
you know, have have a joking way with them. Or they might be joking with somebody else, you know, how people joke with each other sometimes. But that Pisces might might feel really emotion emotional about the jokes that are said about them or the or the way the joke is played on them. So this will allow them to to reacting in in a uh, um insecure or emotional way which can lead to hidden enemies because who knows what that turns into if you know what i'm saying like it you get what i mean i, I think y'all do <laughs> but anyway so that's just another indication another way of looking at it but also pisces um as I, I was saying, they can be they can be tied into or predestined to going a route of of asylums, of of hospital visits, of uh, of prisons. You know, so so these are other things that's associated with Pisces. Like I said, when you put it in that bowl of salad, this is what you get when you get. I mean, this is how you create a Pisces pretty much you get their water you got their you got their uh, mutable energy you got their um, 12th house energy and you got that Neptune P Pisces polar opposites are both Virgos they're most compatible with Capricorn Taurus Scorpio cancer sorry <laughs> but uh Pisces will best be suited in a career for they will best be suited in a career for artistic work. Reason why artistic work or they make they're said to make one of the best artists. The reason why that is you gotta keep in mind their emotions. They're in tune with those emotions. They're highly intuitive. They're highly emotional. So they have a good feel for things. You see what I'm saying? So they have a good feel for creation that all ties in with one another so they make very great artists and another great career for a cap i mean for <laughs> for pisces to be in is uh is that they they are be great in anything where it where it's serving others where it's helping others because they're that emotional intuitive nature that they have so anything as i was saying anything in the health field anything in the anything like social working or or anything as i said where they where they feel like they can serve others will be a a great feel for pisces pisces glyphs or pisces um yeah pisces glyphs or and symbols are are the two fishes swimming in opposite directions which symbolizes their um which symbolizes some part of like their indecisiveness of, of emotions or how their emotions can change or even or even represents it can even represent the changing of seasons from because Pisces are also said to to take in all traits from the other signs because they're the last sign so so it represents going one way as far as going getting the energy from all the other signs and going the opposite way which is starting the beginning or going towards the beginning which is Aries of of the whole astrological chart uh, if you will uh, the part of the body that rules Pisces is their feet so you know take care of y'all feet make sure that y'all um, looking up uh you know nutritional things to take care of your feet and health healthy things to take care of your feet because they're prone to suffering having injuries of the feet um so yeah uh i'll be making future videos on that too on um you know parts of the body that's ruled by the different signs in depth so be on the lookout for those in the future their lucky day of the week is friday their lucky numbers are two and six and um their special crystal is aquamarine so that's all that i have for today's video i hope you guys liked the video as always if you did press the like button Click the subscribe button if you want to stay in tune for future videos. 
put the description box if you want to follow me on my social medias right in the comment section box down below to let me know something or how you feel or whatever you want to say uh thank you for your time and until next time peace and love y'all